world's toughest race is underway. Whoa, whoa! He down! He is down! The Vua Falls is the crux of the race. The teams are going to be absolutely exhausted here. Every step is trying to trip you up. And then when they see that huge opposing wall ahead of them. We're about to go and climb that. That gives me goosebumps. Wow, that is going to be a test of their resilience and team spirit. One more, big guy. Top of Vua Falls, that's exactly where our team dropped out in 2002. We were doing reasonably well, but we contracted a jungle foot rot on our feet. It became so painful that we had to drop out, um, and it was, it was crushing. It was kind of like it is now. It was a very big part of our lives, and you know we really wanted it to, to work out. I haven't raced for six years now, almost. This race brought me back to wanting to redeem myself. Get in a good rest before you hit the falls. Because once you're on there, you're kind of just on the ropes. There's not great places to rest. And then the weather, you know, it's quite a bit windier and quite a bit colder. Yeah, I don't think we should do that. Because we get head feeling. So let's do that in five hours. I feel like I could do it, but it would not be enjoyable, man. And we only got 30 minutes sleep last night. Navigable from the butterfly. It is. I mean, with a headlamp, you just follow the ropes. Um, but it's certainly easier in the daylight. I think we got it. We're going to go for it. Right now, my mind is just shocked. At night, it's hard to see. Navigation becomes so much more difficult. I was put on this planet to do hard things. I know when I'm out here, there's no reason not to believe that I am capable. There's a lot of sacrifice that goes into this. But I believe there's a lot of life lessons that can be taught. Grit, resilience, persistency, dedication, hard work. Nothing great is ever accomplished on our own. We're gonna cross that finish line together. <laughs>